Hey guys, so tonight I wanted to show you guys a video about colors of candles and I wanted to show you the different uses that you can use them for. Uh, I found the smallest birthday candles that I could and these candles are about two inches tall and they're really really thin and you can use these for your honey jars. So for those of you out there that really don't have the time and you know you just you know you want to get the work done and you want to burn a candle upon your honey jars these candles can be used and you have yellow blue green and pink and these were the smallest that I could find so those are about two inches tall and the normal candles that I usually burn on my honey jars would be the four inch and the six inch and the white candles I use white if I don't have a color candle I will use a white candle for it so you know white candle you can um, use it to get rid of negative energy for peace for blessings and um, also t for purity and clarity as well that's what I would use my white candles for and um, these sizes are the these are the emergency candles so you can probably get a box of, of like 10 or 12 you can get them at the supermarket sometimes and these sizes right here uh, you can get them from I get them from like the discount stores so sometimes if I'm running out of candles and I, and I really need some candles to burn on my honey jar then I would get these but normally I have these candles which are also six inches as well and these candles um, I actually like these ones a little better I can write on them and you know for for purple you know I use them for uh, you can use them for power you can put like um, John the Conqueror oil on top of them and also I use them for control so you can put your bend them all control do as I say on the purple candles and those work very well with that for the green candle money prosperity wealth anything involving um, financial situations you can use for business you can use green for fast luck it's also used for fertility and abundance so you know green is used for a lot of things and also you can use them for success as well and there's a lot of saints that are tied to this color and green is used for St. Jude and also the blue candle right here I use the blue for um like happiness like in the family in the home and anything dealing with um, money house blessings I use these I put my money house blessing oil on these candles as well um, peace you can use them for forgiveness too you can put them on uh, and healing you can put them on your, your honey jars and you can put some reconciliation oil on the blue candles now for the red candles the red candles you know those are for love of course you know you use them for love you use them for sex you use them for relationships um, red I have also used for fast luck and red is also used for sex and you know creating the passion in the relationship so if you have a, a honey jar or if you want to use a red candle to you can also use the red candle for come to me you can use the red candle for um, also follow me boy you can use a red candle also if you're working with the saint expedite that's his color as well and I've used red on my on my honey jars when I'm you know trying to ignite the love back into a relationship and you can use the Adam and Eve oil as well on top of a red candle and you know the red you it helps you to also attract love so you can put uh, attraction oil on top of the the red candle which is an excellent idea to, to do you know you bring in more passion back into a relationship you want him to follow you come to you red is your color the the yellow I have used for steady work and I have also used blue for steady work if you have the job already I have used blue for steady work and I've used green for steady work the yellow candle I've used for crown of success um, I've used yellow as well for um, you know like like creativity and different things in that nature like um, you know to get better ideas and also yellow is the colors um, candle that I use for St. Joseph you can use that if you're looking for an apartment trying to sell your home and 
yellow is good for confidence and things of that nature and you can also use yellow for um like if you want to do a candle and you want to use um psychic oil you can use yellow i have also used um purple which helps you like if you you know if you're a tarot reader you can use the purple car purple candle to help you to attain more power mentally and you know also i have used blue these are the nine inch candles and these are what i have on my store on my etsy store and they're dressed and they're loaded at the bottom and what i do when i get them um from the botanica is i clean them off i get like a plastic knife and i clean off some of the excess wax on it you know a lot of people touch these and sometimes i trim the wick and i dress these with herbs i'm going to also do a video showing you guys what they look like for my packages that i have and i also shape around here a bit i try to give them my own little shape and stuff like that and, and i clean them off really good you clean them off with florida water so many people touch these candles and you know it has it picks up a lot of energies unlike the, the the candles that are in the jars that you're just gonna clean the outside of them and you know you also clean the inside but it's easier to clean the glass candles and um this is a seven day candle seven day um candle here and this one is nine this one is a bit more thicker than this one i enjoy working with the nine day candles better the seven day ones i don't have a problem working with them but i just enjoy using these ones better i'm going to use these colorful ones um for a road opener spell they're great for road opener spells you put some holes at the top and you add a you know you add a bit of herbs if your oil has herbs in it already then you don't really need to but i, I still do it even though i make my oils with herbs in them i still add some herbs a couple of days before i'm going to do the spell i cleanse the candle off then the next day um i, I start dressing the candle with the herbs i place the holes and i write alongside the the wax and the inside then maybe a day or two after i will dress it with oil i will wrap it up with the saran wrap and you know to let the oils infuse into the wax and then by like the fifth day or so then i start working my spell on them and during that time i keep them on my altar and you know try to give them some get some good energy out of them and then i start working with them um they also have 14 day candles and i'm going to show you guys what those look like as well and those are for longer spells both of these you can use for longer spells if you're a beginner you can start working with the four inch candles and the four inch candles you could dress them with oil roll a little herb on them and you can set up a mini altar for yourself and you can start working with the candles gradually going up then you can work with the six inch then you can start working with the different colors depending on the situation, depending on what you need. When I when I work with the um with the red candles, I also use pink for lust. And pink is good for reconciliation, it's good for friendship, it's good for having like, you know, joy and different things like that in in a relationship. And um you know, I have used orange before. Orange I've used also for road opener. I've used orange for crown of success or as well. It's good for um you get good energy and, and orange is um, for change so you know use an orange if you have a road opener candle that's orange you usually will see them orange green and yellow those are good colors and combinations to have on them the um i don't have any black candles here but the black repels any kind of negative energy removes any jinxes curses crosses hexes you put some uncrossing or jinx removing all on top of them and you can send back also with the reverse and all anything that anyone has done to you and uh in my video with the green and black candle that was a reversing candle to send back any negative energy that and, and any negative spells or work that anyone has done to you involving your financial aspect and you know career business wise financially anything involving your money that's what that candle is for and a lot of times people are unsure what candles to use and if you're really kind of unsure you just you just use white white is the the main color that you can use like if i don't have colors i will use white i always have white candles and i try not to run out of them but you know working so many honey jars and stuff like that i'm constantly using my color candles and stuff like that and these candles that i have right here the nine inch ones these ones go pretty quick um a lot of my customers they like these and the new customers that i'm drawing in on etsy um have bought i think i had like one or two people that bought these already and they come dressed in herb at the bottom if this is a, a, a if you have a spell that you want to do for the come to me spell you'll take two red candles 
And you're going to need a lotus stone also. And you're going to gradually, it's a called a moving spell. Gradually, gradually, excuse me. You're going to move each candle to each other over a period of about, i say like about, these are kind of big. So you can do this in seven days. If you don't have the, the man and the woman figure candles, two red candles, dress them. You're going to load them at the bottom with a lotus stone in each. And then you seal it back up with some wax. And you move them to each other gradually. You write your name on one, his name on one, or her name. And slowly you move them to each other. And you're going to place some come to me oil on them. And you can also place follow me boy on your candle to bring him closer to you. And if you're a man, you use the follow me girl and you place it on your candle to make her come closer to you. And it's a spell. You, you, you're going to light the candle for about two hours a day. Little by little, you're going to, you're going to, then the next day, three, then the next day, four, you know, praying with your incense until the candles are really close to each other. And when the wax has burned out, you're going to take the wax as well as the lotus stone that should be, you know, at the bottom of both of them. And you're going to put them in a mojo bag. And when you put them in a mojo bag, if you have a picture of you and, you know, the guy or, you know, your girlfriend, you tie the pictures close with each other. And what you're going to do, you're going to put that all in a mojo bag with each other. And you could put about three love herbs in there. And you tie it up really well. And you can also place a petition in there with some come to me oil on it. You know, writing down what you want to happen. And you will keep this mojo with you. You can place it on your love altar. And you're going to feed it every now and then. Maybe every week or so. Until gradually you start seeing movement, then you can feed it every month with the come to me oil and the follow me boy. If you're a female, you're going to use that because you want him to get closer to you. You want him to follow you. And you also going to feed it with a little bit of magnetic sand for the lotus stones. They should be all, once the wax burns down from both of them, the lotus stones should be at the bottom. And you're going to, depending on what size you use. So they, if they're about this big then you know you, you you dig a hole out and you bury them in there and then once the wax melts you squeeze the wax together and you leave the two lotus stones exposed so you can keep opening the bag and feeding them and that that'll be your um your come to me spell move in spell i'm gonna most likely make a video with the with the images of the the male and female to show you and it's also a great spell you can use for the adam and eve as well and you can burn them. Some Adam and Eve candles, you, you can see them hugging each other, embracing each other. And you can also dress those with the lotus stones at the bottom. And when the wax burns down, you place them inside a red bag. You can use a red or a pink. If, you, if you're not in a relationship with him and you guys have broken up, then you will use the reconciliation oil. And you will use a pink bag. And you're going to place two balm of Gileads inside of that pink bag. You know, and then, you know... As time goes by, you know, you, you're going to keep feeding the lotus stones. You have to. They're, the energy that gives off from the from the lotus stones is the energy that you put into them. So if you don't feed these lotus stones, they're basically going to die off. They're not going to have no energy. And if you if you have dressed them and blessed them and named yourself and named yourself after one of the lotus stones, then that will be your relationship. That's how things are going to happen. You, you have dressed yourself for one lotus stone and dressed him, but yet you're not taking care of it. And lotus stones are seen as live things. So you talk to them, you feed them um, with the magnetic sand and as well as with the oil. And, you know, you keep them in the bag and you want to continuously feed these items because they are considered to be real. So it's a part, it becomes then a part of your relationship. And another thing that I work with is the skulls. The skulls to influence, um, depending on the color, like the white one, I would use a white one to, um, I, like I would use a white one for a boss, you know, to influence him to give you a, a raise so you can get more money. So this, um, this skull I would load at the bottom and I would put, make a hole in here and I would add in the herbs that I want to use to influence him. And I'm definitely going to add some bend them all to it because I want to mentally, I want to change his mind and, you know, control the situation and how, you know, things are going to go. If, if you want to get, you know, a raise or a certain position at work, the red ones I use for love and, you know, to keep a lover on, keep the, keep 
to keep someone on um, someone else's mind, like their lover and stuff like that, I'll use the red ones. And, you know, I dress them with some love herbs. And as well, I would either do um, add a bit of controlling oil to it or do as I say, um, be witching as well. Those work good on, on the red candles to stay on their mind, to mentally, to influence them, to change certain things in the relationship. You know, and once you start working with the skull candles, you don't burn them completely in one day. It's a spell that you're going to work with over time. So maybe like five, six days, you're going to, you know, little by little, little by little. And what you do as well, what I do, I cleanse them really well. And then I keep it on my altar and I would talk to the skull after I dressed it and, and named it. I won't put any oil on it. I'll just, you know, load it at the bottom and, um... You know talk to it like it's the real person letting them know what i expect from them and then within three four days i'll add some oil on it and um i start doing my work on the skull candles getting in their head talking to them there's another skull candle as well this one is a little bigger the back of the head is a little bigger there's another one that sits up upright you can see the face a little more and those ones i drill some holes into the sides and i put some herbs in there you know to, to get more control over, over this person. You can use green if somebody owes you. You can use green for a boss too. If you, you know, if somebody owes you some money, you can work either a green devil image candle and put some pay me all on it. Or you can use the green skull and place some pay me all on it. And you can put some do as I say and talk to them and compel them to give you back the money that they owe you. You know, people, you know, they, they make a lot of promises and then, you know, they break them. And these skulls are good for those. They're great also. White is also great to help other people that have mental situations going on. You know, they have a lot of things spiritually going on. And, you know, eventually their mind starts, you know, so much different things happen to people when they start doing witchcraft and different things in that nature. And some people mess up their own heads. And you can work a white skull candle for yourself. Put some clarity on it. Put some healing oil on it. And you know, talk to this skull and, and pray over it. You can read the Psalms in the Bible and, you know, you can change certain situations of work gradually. You know, if you take the steps and you work little by little, you know, with the different colors and gradually, you know, you will start to know what you're doing when it comes to the certain colors. Now, as a beginner, if you're a beginner, you know, you may not know eventually, you know, how to do everything right then and there, but eventually you will learn, you know, like a lot of people I know they use the seven day candles multicolor candles for certain dts as well i use mine to open roads you know and you know everyone works with what works for them you know i practice hoodoo i've been doing it for almost 12 years and i do what works for me a lot of people they incorporate certain dts and saints into their work i i also do that i also do that but i don't rely necessarily a hundred percent on certain saints because people what they don't understand you have to build relationships with saints and i have built relationships with saints over 12 years and saints don't are not there to do what you want them to do you know you you build a relationship with the saints and you know some people they'll get the statue or they'll get the statue card or they'll just get the candle that has the saints picture on it you gradually work them into your life they will work with you. They don't work for you. You do not control the saints. But there are saints that will control you. So you have to be very careful what you work with. And, you know, you have to know what these saints are for. You can't just light a candle up and just say, you know, I'm going to work with the saint and bam and expect results. It doesn't work like that. I practice hoodoo. I know a lot of people that, you know, they do their voodoo. And, um, you know, growing up, a, a lot of my friends, I used to go to their parties and different things that they would have um, that were in the Santeria religion. So I, I've been around a lot of people from all different types of uh, spiritual aspects and different types of religions and practice many different things. And I respect everybody's work. And, you know, just like I want people to respect what I do. You know, I've been getting a lot of emails from people asking me, do I work with this saint? Do I work with that saint? I'm not going to just start working with a saint just because, you know, you feel the need to want to work with them. Like, I don't deal with the intranquil 
the intranquil spirit at all. I don't, that's something that I just stay away from. I know a lot of people, they're comfortable doing it, but that's just something I kind of stay far from. You know, I know the intranquil spirit, you know, will haunt your lover and bring him back and, you know, but you're bringing back somebody miserable, angry with you, hurt still in the relationship. To me, I'd rather sweeten this person up, heal them, you know, reconciliate, and then, you know, you work on the issues that you have to try to bring them back into a loving relationship. You know, I, I have worked with a lot of saints and I still work with certain saints and I keep them in my home and, um, they just bring a, a, a blessing to my home. But a lot of times I will work, you know, with my prayers and my colored candles and my skulls and, you know, I, you get the same results. You don't have to work with a DT. You don't have to work with a saint if you don't want to, you know. With working with who do I, I work with my oils and my herbs and my colored candles and, you know, mentally, physically, this is, this is me every day. This is what I do. Everything that involves my work, involves my lifestyle, my home, my family. It's, you know, I burn candles a lot. There's a lot of candles always burning in my home. And, you know, when people come to my home, I want them to respect my home and to respect what I do. I don't necessarily run up to people and let them know, hey, you know, this is what I do. But, you know, it's nothing that I hide. It's nothing that I am ashamed of. I do know some people, they don't want people in their business. And I don't blame you. You know, some people, they automatically start calling you all types of brujas and brujo, you witch. And, you know, you're a devil because you're working with this. You know, I do what I do. And if you don't like it, you, simple. You just don't like it. You know, but I just wanted to make a quick video showing you guys the different color candles. And I'm also going to make a, another video showing you the image candles, the Adam and Eve. Uh, I'm going to look for the, the Green Devil candle because it's pretty hard to find that one. But I'm going to look for it, probably shop online for it. And, you know, guys, when you go into the shops, you know, pick your candles out really well. And, you know, make sure that you know what you're picking out as well. Don't let anybody pick anything out for you, you know. Pick out your own candles. Make sure these candles can stand up on their own. Make sure they can do that. A lot of people, they buy candles and they're all leaning and the wick is so long. And, you know, I have purchased some candles before and the wick burned. And they were all burning on, like, outside. I, like, they were really poorly made. So, you know, do some investigation and research on certain shops that you go to. Because I, I go to certain shops. There's two shops that I will go to and I, I sometimes travel to another state to get my, my candles because just because they have, you know, the best quality and I don't mind doing that, you know, every two months stocking up on my, on my stuff and going somewhere else to get the best quality because I, I make a lot of, um, I make a lot of candles and stuff for, for my clients and I, I, I got to give them the best work. I got to make sure these candles are looking really good and really well. And I can't have, you know, shitty candles. I, I honestly can. Like I've seen some shitty, shitty candles and the way they burn and they smell like that. I, 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 I honestly can't. Like I, I, I really want to make sure that I get some really good candles, you know, to make sure I, I can provide the best service for my clients that I've been doing work for for many years. So, you know, comment below, ask me some questions, like, subscribe, and stay blessed, guys.